What's going on YouTube? It's Andy the Prayer Head Picker. Don't mind my voice today. I'm just getting over a summer cold. Uh, I could hardly even speak <laughs> two days ago. Uh, probably for the wife and some of you that might be a blessing. Uh, but yeah, anyway, today is uh, Friday, June the 7th. It's garage sale day. I'm off work today. Uh, I think I got one more real set of Fridays and then I'm going to actually have to stay at work for a little while. Um, <clears throat> I already stopped at one garage sale this morning. It was a 7.30 sale. Uh, picked up two things. Um, actually, three things. I got uh, kind of like this really, uh, it was a nice looking little snowman bird feeder. And I'll show it later in this video. Um, I'm probably going to Gonna keep that for the house. My wife, she loves snowmen and kind of rusticy looking things, so I picked that up for her. And then I got some Food Network uh, dish towels, like from Kohl's, that are brand new in the package. Um, and I got those from Huckabee, so I'm just gonna keep those for the house. You know, I mean, they retail for 12 bucks. Kohl's, everything's always 50% off, so um, still for the two things, it still would have been about 12 bucks I paid too, so um, I'm okay. And uh, you know, she's gonna be happy because I actually picked a couple of things up for her, so anyway. Today I was really torn on what to do. Um, tonight I got to be back in town a little bit because we're taking off tonight. We're going to go see uh, the '80s hair metal band uh, Warrant. Um, yeah, I don't know you guys can call Warrant metal or not, but uh, yeah, we're gonna go see uh, Warrant tonight. Uh, we got a bunch of friends. We're all meeting up. We're gonna go down to a biker bar. Um, Probably about 40 minutes from my house. I'm gonna go check them out. So there's basically four city whites in my area. Uh, one I really wanted to go to, but you know, I was just with time constraints and everything else going on today. Um, I kind of opted not to. Uh, that one there was over in Leclerc, Iowa. Um, if you guys, if that name sounds familiar, that is the home of the American Pickers. Um, so that is their hometown. They're having their citywide garage sales today, and that is about an hour from where I live. Uh, I thought about hitting that up, and then there's two um, smaller um, town-wide sales today. Uh, one, I think it said there was 13 homes participating, so and that was about 35 minutes from my house. Definitely uh, not going to go to that one. And there's another town-wide sale. I think it's got around 50-some houses, um, probably... 15, 20 minutes from me. I may hit that up later this afternoon. Um, I'm gonna see, I'm actually gonna stay kind of local. I'm heading out of town right now. I'm going about 20 minutes uh, out of town. There's a neighborhood sale. Um, I think there's 13 homes. Uh, it's in a nicer neighborhood. So I'm actually gonna go hit that up. And with the two local sales, um, community sales kind of in my area, I'm hoping that'll draw out a lot of the resellers. Because uh, where I live, there's a ton of resellers in my area, so I'm hoping those two places will draw the majority of the resellers, and uh, maybe I can have kind of my way with uh, this little area here. So uh, I'm hoping to get up there early. I'm a little behind schedule since I stopped at that one sale, and she did not open early. She made me wait, and uh, there was two other cars. She made us wait until exactly 7:30. So uh, hopefully I'll be up here right about as time this is getting going. I can find some good stuff today. Had a great day yesterday on eBay and Poshmark. Um, then nine sales between the two platforms. Uh, three Poshmark for like a hundred bucks. And then I had uh, six over on eBay for just a few dollars short of 200. So almost a $300 day yesterday. Um, super, super happy with that considering I am a part-time eBay reseller. You know, this is not my full-time job. Uh, I do work a full-time job. Uh, usually Tuesday through Friday, but I've had a lot of Fridays off lately, uh, so I can uh, focus on garage sales, um, and it's definitely, definitely been paying off. I just checked my numbers this morning before I headed out, and I am up 69% from where I was last year at this time. Um, that's a that's a significant increase. Um, I've been really, really meaning to get some sales updates out. Uh, I'm way, way, way behind on those. Um, you know, I'm just thinking about doing like a monthly catch up, probably just for the last month. We had some nice sales. Um, had a couple really, really good ones, but uh, you know, just a lot of good bread and butter stuff. And that's stuff, you know, I love picking up garage sales. Um, you know, that time of year is the best, and you can get just the best deals on stuff and sell them an awful lot of shoes, hats, um, 
I think I had two, I got two hats going out this morning, one eBay, one Poshmark. Uh, one was an Arizona State um, uh, hat. A um, lady actually messaged me, said her next door neighbor, um, she, she wants it for a gift for her next door neighbor. Uh, he just got accepted to Arizona State um, for college, so she's gonna give that to him as a gift. Um, then I sold a uh, Chad Little um, John Deere um, racing hat. Chad Little no longer drives. Uh, it's like a NASCAR hat. No, no longer drives or races. I don't even think John Deere even sponsors a car anymore. Um, I sold that over on Poshmark. Uh, I sold two items that I've had in my inventory forever. One item didn't even have a skew on it. It's been in my inventory that long. Uh, it's this Pendleton. Kind of like a Hawaiian type of shirt. Um, yeah, you know, it's one of the things I learned. Um, you know, this was something I bought, obviously, probably two years ago, if not more. Uh, yeah, Pendleton wool is what sells. Uh, most of Pendleton, anything else, you have a really hard time getting rid of. And I have had this, it's a really, really neat shirt. I thought it was something that would sell right away. Um, and this thing just hasn't moved. They actually paid full asking price. Uh, I think I've had it so long, I've got to have, have had a best offer on it. I've even marked it down a couple times to around like probably 15, 16 bucks. It still couldn't get anyone to buy it, uh, but it ended up selling for $23.49. So super happy to get that thing out of my inventory. Uh, and then I sold a pair of Perry Ellis pants, which I've had for about two years. New with tags, they were something I bought at a Goodwill, $1.23 a day. Um, you know, it's hard to pass on anything new with tags for $1.23, uh, but it's one of those things that, you know, you just live and you learn. Uh, but I think those went for, with the shipping, they were around 30 bucks with shipping. So, uh, not bad there. Uh, sold a Leap, it was a Leap Pad or Leap Frog um, kind of activity set with the pens. Uh, that went for around 40 bucks. Um, what else did they sell? Uh, a couple pairs of shoes. Uh, sold a pair of Hoka 1-1 um, one, one, uh, tennis shoes for around 50 bucks. Said off the top of my head, I can't think of everything else I sold. Uh, Under Armour Polo, um, you know, just some bread and butter things. Um, yeah, so like I said, really happy to uh, to get a lot of this stuff out of my inventory. But uh, nine sales for me on a Thursday, you know, on a Thursday, that's a pretty good day. So uh, I'll take three hundred dollars any you know any day, especially when I'm doing this part time. All right, guys, so we're heading off to do some garage sale, and I gotta give my voice a rest here a little bit here. Okay, guys, uh, heading back from garage sailing today. Um, did okay. Uh, Consider, you know, I've been, I basically stayed local. Um, I don't know how many houses I hit today. Probably maybe 50 houses. I don't know. I, I, that might be an overestimate. Uh, but anyway, I got a lot of good bread and butter stuff. Um, I don't think I picked up any home run items to speak of. Um, I did get some pretty good ROI items, but uh, like not really any home runs. So, um, but you know, don't underestimate the. Uh, you know, that bread and butter, man, uh, that's stuff that pays my bills. You know, that good $20, $25, $30, uh, those items right there, uh, I'll take them all day long. Um, you know, uh, the, the $100, $150, $200 items, uh, those are great, but they typically come few and far between for me. Uh, so, you know, like I said, uh, it's this bread and butter stuff uh, that I'm out picking up right now. Um, that's stuff that just brings in that steady income, so definitely don't overlook that. Uh, but anyway, guys, thanks for hanging out with me today, and uh, hang tight, and I'll show you everything that I picked up. Here comes the haul. Okay, guys, uh, I'm back from uh, garage sailing. Um, I stopped at a couple more uh, sales um, after uh, I got done talking there. Um, but this is everything I picked up. I got me a ton of shoes, um, as I mentioned, um, and a bunch of other stuff. So anyway, um, we're just going to keep it uh, short and simple. We're going to jump into it, and I'll show you all the stuff I ended up picking up. I only got one piece of clothing. Um, I did get this really cool uh, vintage Tommy Hilfiger uh, shirt right here. Um, I couldn't pass it up for what it was, but I really I like the colorway and everything about it. I mean, this is just that uh, type of Tommy stuff that'll sell. And, you know, it's still got the, the old 90s tag, and it's a large. So really, really nice shirt there. It's almost like a knit material, so it's not even like a, you know, like the T-shirt type. Um, here's that, uh, it's like a little snowman bird feeder. I got this for the wife. Um, she really likes snowmen and kind of that country rustic-y looking stuff. So, um, I picked this up for her. Uh, at the first sale I ended up stopping at, um, we'll go over here. Uh, this here is a um, one of those uh, Fisher Price little people. It's like a princess. It's got all the Disney princesses and stuff. This is kind of a little bolo, guys. Um, these little uh, the little people um, play sets and stuff. They go for some pretty decent money. 
Um, I think this one here goes for around about 40 bucks. Um, I actually got this for my granddaughter. And when they're done playing with it, um, you know, I can always sell it. Uh, just the little princesses alone. I think there was 11, or I think there was maybe around 11 of them in there. There was a whole bunch of them. You know, I don't know. It was it was at least 10 of them. Um, and they go for, just the princesses go for some pretty good money. Like the bed, the chairs. Um, you guys check it out. I'm actually like parting these things out. Like look at the little uh, people play sets and then just look at them, even just parting them out. Um, I know there's like some flags and there's some other stuff. They actually go for some really, really good money. So just some, um, you know, maybe uh, if you guys get these cheap, you know, you don't want to ship off the big play set. A lot of times just the parts for these things and uh, the little people could go for some good money. So a little bolo for you. Uh, speaking of parting stuff out, picked up another Theme Monopoly game. I've actually sold the parts out of this one uh, before. Um, this got like all the little NASCAR tokens. I think I got around 17, 18 bucks for just the tokens. Um, I did make sure those are all in there. That's for me, that's the most important one is the tokens because a lot of times people like these tokens. Um, I didn't pay three bucks for this, so I always usually get these for a dollar or two tops. Um, but I always make sure the tokens are in there and then I'll part the rest of that game out. Uh, just cool little, little Tonka Jeep. I thought it was kind of cool. I'm not sure if this is uh, like 80s um, or not. Um, this is one I'm thinking of. This might go for around about 20 bucks. So um, this one might be just a tad newer. Um, I think it was called, I think the name is like the Beach, Beach Comber, Beach Breaker or something like that. Um, I know that one there does pretty well. I'm not sure if this one is that model or not. Um, but anyway, yeah, um, I only set out one of each shoe because I had so many shoes. Um, I got such a great deal on shoes and shoes are moving just awesome for me on eBay and Poshmark right now. And during garage sale season, man, I, I get such great deals on shoes, so definitely can't pass them up. Uh, but anyway, I got these really nice uh, women's bandolinos. Um, they do okay, um, but these are these are basically like brand new. And this is the type of shoes I like to pick up, the ones that I don't have to do anything with, like brand new. Uh, same sale, I got these bandolinos. Um, these here are really good shape and condition. I'm probably just going to get that little bit of yuck out of the heel there, which that only take a couple seconds. Got these Nikes. These are brand new. These are basically brand new. They may have only been worn like once, twice tops. Uh, same sale. I got the Bandolinos. I got these Clarks. Um, guy basically told me, he said, all shoes were the same price, so I scooped all them up. Another pair of Nikes. These are Nikes like women's, um, like a slip-on, I don't know, type of type of shoe. Those are really good. I just got to touch this, these up real quick, but th these shoes here will clean up real nice. Uh, got these New Balance. These are like brand new as well. Um, I do got to get some laces. Actually, I have laces. I always pick up laces whenever I find them. Um, these here are Merrells. Really nice pair of Merrells, like a suede um, shoe. I mean, you guys can see, I mean, just look how nice these are. Um, these here are Asics. These here were brand new in box. Um, and I got a I stole these things, so these are really nice, just women's running shoe. Um, I pick these up whenever I find them, Nike Air Maxes. Um, these are in really good shape. Um, I'll just have to clean these up just a little bit, but they're in pretty good shape and condition. Nike Air Maxes usually tend to do, it's typically about a $50 shoe, so not too bad. A uh, pair of Echoes, these are women's Echo shoes. Um, you know, they do pretty decent. Um, these here are a pair of Land's End, I think. Yeah, Land's End, um, like hiking boots. Um, I just sold a pair of Columbia boots just like these I picked up, I think, last week or the week before. Um, I think they were, might have been a Poshmark sale. It could be an eBay sale, I don't remember. Um, I think they're more for around 30, 35 bucks. So I got those nice boots there. And then I got this pair of Nikes. Um, it's here in pretty good shape. I'm just gonna get a little bit of the dirt out of the bottom, but really nice pair of just Nike black on black. Um, high tops, so yeah, nice, uh, nice pair of shoes there. So, a lot of shoes, um, you know, Radica Solitaire. I always pick these up. Um, these go for about 15 to 20 dollars, depending on uh, you know, different variables and what have you. But these here, um, usually do pretty well, so I always grab these whenever I find them. These here are the Food Network towels I grabbed at that first sale, They're both brand new, and uh, I got those for a buck a piece, so those are going to stay at the house. Grab this Harley little accessory tool bag, um, little leather, little accessory tool bag or whatever. So this here's really nice. Um, I haven't really been buying a lot of Harley stuff lately. So um, yeah, I got those. Uh, and then I got two bottles of this, it's called Tweaked. Um, it's like hair 
self-cleaning hair treatment and the other one is self-cleaning yeah there's both self-cleaning one's a rinse and shine and the other one is ultra nourishing um i got those for 50 cents a piece and these things go for about 30 dollars a bottle and they're sealed so um i always try to get something out of my comfort zone once in a while um and uh as it does at one of the sales and i grab these i only got one of them over here guys but uh these old vintage uh, roller skates um yeah, these things are the ones that like you can just wear your regular tennis shoes with. You slip them in there. They are adjustable. So I'm going to see how I do with these. Um, she gave me an incredible deal on these, and I bought a couple other things from her. I will show you as well. So um, I didn't look them up or nothing because the price she gave me was not even worth looking up. So if these end up in the garbage, that's fine. But uh, I think I should do okay with them. I mean, I, I think they're pretty neat. I don't know if any, if any of you guys have ever sold anything like this. Uh, if you have, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear about it. Um, but, yeah. Uh, I actually used to have something very similar to these when I was a kid, so that was uh, a few years ago. <laughs> uh, I always pick up, you know, new sealed uh, media. These are the high eight tapes, so um, grab those. I'm always grabbing them um, before I jump in all the games and videos. Um, where I got the roller skates, lady, uh, so many of these two games. She said they're from the '60s. It's a Superman card game. Uh, and then I got a Get Smart card game. So she sold me the skates and the two card games. Um, she gave me an amazing price. Basically, she was just get the stuff out of my house. So uh, I, I love when you run into those deals, the get it out of my house deal. So um, then this was probably my home run item. Um, like I said, I ha didn't really have any home runs um, until I stopped at one of the other sales uh, after I stopped uh, my recording. Uh, but this here's a Black & Decker Space Maker um, can opener. Um, it's new open box, so everything's all completely sealed in it, um, but it has been open. These things go for about $100, so uh, I got an amazing, amazing deal on this. Um, anytime you find these Black & Decker, Space Maker type things, always look them up. Um, I just sold, I think, it, I can't remember if it was a coffee coffee maker. It might have been another can opener um, just not long ago, and that went for around $100, $150. Um, this one here will probably probably be right in that same uh, region as well. Should be around, it'll be 100 plus. So always keep uh, an eye out for these uh, Black & Decker um, Space Maker um, items. They, people love them. They, they're great for um, campers and RVs, um, that sort of stuff. So um, anyway, all right, well, I'll show you all the uh, video games and movies I ended up picking up. Um, I actually got some pretty decent ones. Um, this here's uh, PS3, Ultimate Alliance 2 and Ultimate Alliance 1. I think these are both like $20 games used um it's disney karaoke i think that's uh i think it goes for around 12 bucks 12 15. this one here was a real surprise it was new sealed so i looked it up i thought this was basically a butt pickle um where it wasn't worth anything and to my surprise this game's going used for like about 20 bucks so um yeah new sealed i think this is around a 35 40 dollar game so uh really happy with that find there I got two and a half men box set, uh, one, two, four, and five, all new sealed. Uh, I picked those up. Hercules VHS sealed. It's not really worth a whole lot, um, but you know, like I said, it's one of those deals when the price is that good. Um, yeah, you go ahead and grab it. So, and uh, they're e they're easy to ship. Um, these here were not good buys. Um, I didn't look them up, and no, I didn't pay five bucks a piece for them. Thank God, because that's really about all they're really worth. I think these are about maybe seven, eight dollar games. So. Um, I did I did bundle them, and I got a lot better price than that, but still, I'm not going to make hardly anything on these. I may just bundle the three of them together, and uh, hopefully I, you know, make a couple dollars, but I'm not going to make a lot on these. So, but anyway, I got Borderlands, Call of Duty Black Ops 3, and Destiny, so, for Xbox One. So, yeah, not a good buy there. Uh, 101 Dalmatians 2, Blu-ray, new sealed, and 101 Dalmatians 1, Blu-ray, new sealed. So I got both of those, let me bundle them together. It's Mary Poppins, New Sealed. Um, this one here actually wasn't too bad. Monsters University, DVD, New Sealed. Uh, Mario Bros, you know, always a, uh, oh, you know what, there's something I'm missing, and I, I gotta find it. I must be missing another bag of stuff. So actually, I might have some more things, because um, I know I got a controller from uh, the lady. She had a Wii, she had some Wii games. Um, these three Wii games I'm gonna show you right here. They were buried in a box um, of actually where I got all these movies. I got all these DVDs from the same lady. Um, these were they were buried in the bottom. Um, I asked her if she had a Wii. She said yes. 
she go I asked what she wanted for it she said 60 bucks I was like I don't think so I said well do you have any controllers and she's like yeah so I bought a controller off of her for a buck which they usually go for about 15 um, and it wasn't the motion plus it was just a regular um, controller but that was still about 15 bucks asked her if she had any Mario games or anything and she went in the house and she pulled this out so she sold me that for a buck. These here still go in that $15 range. Sometimes I think you can get close to 20 out of them, but 15 is pretty much uh, a pretty steady price for those. Um, then I got the Six Flags Fun Park, new sealed. Um, I'm not quite sure what this one's going for. I'm expecting probably not a lot, but for you know, the price I got, and then I got Wii Play. So uh, not too bad, but yeah, boy, that makes me wonder what I did with <laughs> my... Uh, I gotta have another box running around here. So anyway, um, but yeah, that's pretty much my haul. Um, this is just a Friday haul. I'm definitely not. I'm not going out Saturday. I got texted while I was out. We're gonna have my little granddaughter, so I gotta get this Disney thing cleaned up. Get some batteries in it. Lady assured me that it worked, uh, so she can play with that when she gets over here. Um, but yeah, guys. Um, so anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, um, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe. I always love hearing from you guys. Um, and all that good stuff. So anyway, guys, that's going to do it. That's my time. Thanks for watching. And as always, fins up, everybody. Bye-bye.